<laughs> Good morning, you guys. Oh, this is such a beautiful place to vlog. Okay, so I actually, you know what? This is supposed to be a vlog and it's not going to be. It's going to be a main channel video. So hi, main channel. Um, I started this out how I start my vlogs. So if you like vlogs, um, yeah, if you like vlogs, and you like this style of content, you might want to head to the vlog channel. So I'm going to repack my bag real quick and then I'm going to do a what is in my modeling bag video for you guys. And this is just really what I took yesterday. The only thing in here that I did not pack that I should have is my phone charger. So caveat and hi Berkey. I just filmed a TikTok. She wasn't bothersome and now she's bothersome. So here is a what's in my bag for a casting haul. Berkey, this toy's loud, honey. Okay, pick something else. Here, play with that. Okay, this is a what's in my modeling bag. So this is my first casting call in New York City. The only modeling calls I've been in before were in LA. So this is really fun. This is really different for me. A new chapter of life, a new thing to, you know, try and get and look forward to. So, um, yeah, I went to the Good American Casting Call. It was really, really good. Spoiler alert for the vlog, but I felt like really nervous. I didn't, well, I wasn't nervous for the casting at all, but when they started asking questions, like my, literally I left feeling like, oh, cause my whole interview was about you guys. They asked one question about just like how I impact my community cause they had seen my, my TikTok and I was like gushing about my community for my whole interview. So yeah, so just know I love you guys a lot. And um, if I don't get it because I love my community, if that's part of it, then whatever. Cause that was what my whole interview was about. So let's get into the bag. So I'm gonna work forward. So let me make, let me reset it. So what's in my bag? Okay, first thing I did was my tripod. I wanted to make a TikTok in New York City, so I needed my tripod just so I'm in control of my own content. I didn't know if people there were gonna be able to take videos for me. Um, I didn't know. So this, and I will try to link as much of this stuff down below as possible, but just know most of it's from like Amazon, just like really accessible places. So this tripod is my lifesaver. Um, I own two of them. <laughs> I love them. They're easy, they're easy to take around. They're easy to film portrait or landscape and they're really just good tripods. So this tripod, and obviously look, I collapsed it and was able to put it in my backpack. The backpack is from Target. So great things happening here. Next we have, we'll just do the backup outfit. So I wore jeans, but I like literally did not eat before my casting because I was like, I could not spill anything on this outfit. And usually, um, like I didn't even finish my makeup yet, but usually I would have a big shirt or just something to put over my actual outfit because I, I didn't know, it's New York City. So I knew I was gonna be on public transit. I knew like, I didn't know what the changing room situation, I didn't wanna run into a bathroom and change. I just wanted to be prepared because I was literally going straight from the parking garage because I drove straight to my casting. So there, it didn't make sense for me to stop anywhere in between. Usually I have a big shirt, I didn't. So I was like, okay girl, take a backup outfit in case. So that's what I did. Um, I didn't even have coffee before, it was crazy. All right, next we have your wallet. You wanna make sure that you just have um, cash, like at least 20 bucks, because anything can happen, right? And you just wanna make sure you're prepared. But more importantly than cash for emergencies is your ID. You want to make sure you can identify yourself. A lot of times people will ask for that, especially when going into buildings. So you wanna make sure you have something that can identify you. So your wallet is key. I'm not a purse girl. I think most of my vlog followers know this. I do carry this as my purse. Um, it's just easier for me to manage, so eh. All right, next we have water. It was 80 degrees in New York yesterday. I'm like, it is literally November. Global warming's real. But stay hydrated. Um, I did stay hydrated. I just put a new one in here because I drank the one from yesterday. And then deodorant. Again, it was 80 degrees and windy, so it was just like a lot going on. Um, yeah, so my hair was crazy. My body, I was like sweaty, so I made sure to bring my deodorant. It's lifesaver. You don't want to be smelly. That's horrible. Next, speaking of hair, I went ahead and brought my straightener and my brush. Now, I brought this not knowing if I'd be able to use it, but luckily there was a bathroom in the casting and a lot of other girls were getting dressed too, so it really worked out. Birkin, this is hot, so how about you don't play with that? All right, next I want, I brought my gratitude journal because I do write in my gratitude journal every day. I switched from like a prayer journal to a gratitude journal because I realized I was complaining a lot in my prayers and since switching to gratitude, I'm just more grateful for like literally the little things. So I just thought it would be really special to write my gratitude in 
the casting and I did and it was really beautiful to be able to do that and then on the same note I brought I did bring my Bible now this does not go to every casting with me but I host Bible study on Monday and oh that's hot baby that's hot uh, let's put that up there all right I do host Bible study every Monday but I didn't know where I was gonna be or where, where the day was gonna take me I was like reaching out to friends like who wants to link up who wants to go to lunch whatever but no matter what I was gonna do I didn't even know if I was gonna stay the night in New York no matter what I was gonna do though I knew for a fact that I was going to do my Bible study at nine o'clock there was no reason not to the only thing I had to do was in the morning so why not so I just put it in my backpack just in case again I didn't know where the day was gonna take me so I just wanted to be prepared and then clips hair clips yesterday I wore like a synthetic wig which I didn't love I don't love synthetic wigs at all and I'm actually allergic which is why my face is breaking out but the color was so pretty so I was like okay let me wear it but clips took, again it was windy so to clip my hair down um okay so this casting required this paper they're like make sure you print this and bring this so one thing I learned in acting was that whenever you get an audition for something you always want to bring two copies of your sides what your sides are are pieces of a script that you take that you read from so like your lines are on there right so you always want to bring two copies just in case so I took that knowledge from my acting days and I applied that to my modeling days and I went ahead and printed two copies just in case it, it had important information that they would need Birkin brought you guys money um it has important information like that you have an identification code they needed that so they said to bring this so I did um next I am a really oily person um so I brought my Fenty Beauty this is the best powder I've literally ever used this brush I know y'all like Stella what the hell I got this for free at a pretty little thing event probably three years ago it still works it still works all right next this is like my game changer this is my NARS body oil and in fact I'm not wearing any now so I'm gonna put some on my chest especially in the sunlight so you guys can see how amazing this is Ooh, I don't want to use a lot because this is expensive this is like $52 a bottle so I use this when I do photo shoots I do not use this every day I do not want the oh sorry Berkey I do not want the budget for that but as you can see it just adds a little oomph now imagine it like on your arms I obviously don't have enough to put on my arms but it just gives you this natural glow kind of a modeling secret okay next we have the pen and highlighter now this comes from acting days this was like a these are a these are a remnant of my acting days because you do want to bring these things to auditions to again make notes to your sides and highlight your lines you know you always want to be prepared in this way and I just translated this to my modeling days um, for my gratitude journal in my Bible I was like okay but I this comes from my acting days not that my acting days are like over but they're definitely on hiatus right now all right next thing my camera I can't show you because you guys are on it right now but I do bring my camera because I like to vlog everything as content and these companies um most times most times you can't really vlog in the castings but this is a special circumstance you know they really encourage you to take pictures and this stuff but usually at castings no usually it's very private um but this was not so just because you can't film in a casting too like if you're a vlogger you can film before getting in the building you can film coming out like no no one said you can't do that and unless you sign something you can say who you're auditioning for too so the more you know and an extra battery now my fault is yesterday I brought this extra battery and it was the dead one I had one, I had two on my table why I didn't bring both I thought I knew better one I had charged one I had it which I knew I just couldn't remember which is which I took a shot I lost um, and then next the other hair clip and that is everything I brought in my bag again the only thing I wish I would have put in my bag that I didn't was a phone charger that would have been like really smart because I didn't know where the day was gonna take me I guess I don't need to put this back in there huh because I'm unpacking now but I had a really really good time at Good American I met a lot of followers it was so beautiful meeting you guys if you're watching this um, I had a good time just representing my community out there and just you know doing the Lord's work it was so blessed you know I came out of there like man I really talked about just my community the whole time but it was so beautiful but then I went to lunch and at lunch um, I was like, this is not off 26th Street. If you're new here, that's my angel number. And I sat down and behind my friend, it was like the sign, it said 26th Street. And then I went to the parking garage. My parking was supposed to be $21 for the day. This is why I park at this garage in Greenwich. And the guy was like, oh, it's gonna be, he was like, oh, the $21 rate doesn't apply right now. It's supposed to be 26. And I was like, well, the only reason I'm not gonna be mad at you right now is because 26 is my angel number. And he's like, oh, okay, like he's like, haha. But um, 
it was $26. I was like, what? And then I looked at my receipt. So I guess parking was $21.96. What, what I thought it was supposed to be. The tax was $4.04. And I was like, 404 is the time I was born. 404 also equals 8. I was born on 8-8. So like it really just felt so aligned. It was such a beautiful moment. So yeah that was my experience i have a full vlog i don't know if i'm gonna put it on my main channel or my vlog channel yet i think i want to put it on my main channel because it's such a big deal but um i do have a vlog coming out i did record as much as i could even though i took a dead battery i did record as much as i could and on my phone so i am going to post that very soon probably tomorrow and until then I am going to be making TikToks today and having fun, but I just, and unpacking this bag, but I just wanted to show you guys the fun stuff that I take to castings and hopefully it helps you prepare. Now, when I lived in LA, I did not bring all of this stuff, mainly because that was my home city. So if I needed something like it was in my car, I could leave it in my car. But with New York, my car was going to be in a garage. So I didn't have access to like, let me run out real quick. I guess I could have parked closer, but I like the garage I like because it's inexpensive. So, and I could just hop on a train so um in LA I would not bring all this to castings I would bring maybe my powder and a f uh, powder and I wouldn't even bring a phone charger because the castings are usually really fast so probably usually just my powder and my lip stuff my lip glosses and stuff like that I would bring um but yeah so that's what I brought to my casting right Bertie I wish I could have brought you you're so sweet you want to say hi she's like I want my damn toy back I took it away so I could film I have oh this is so fun I never vlog on my main channel so I'm going to go to I have like work to do but I also have some fun PR boxes in the UPS store so I'm gonna go pick those up right now but welcome to what's in my modeling bag okay bye